So in this video, I will be showing you how I got this tan. And I will also show you a little spa routine. Hi guys and good morning. So what I wanted to do with you today is film a little get ready with me, but more like spa day video. What I'll be doing is I'm gonna steam, I'm gonna exfoliate, I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna do my skincare routine. And then I'm also gonna use some self tanner that I've never tried at home. That will be interesting. I do have to say that the challenge is really gonna be like, not how to do this video, but more like in the meantime, like talking to you guys and trying to entertain you. It feels so weird for me. Like sometimes it's so obvious that I'm talking to a camera and not actually to people. And it's also really difficult to kind of be yourself on camera because it's really hard to get your personality across when you're in fact i'm talking to a phone right now you know and it doesn't feel yet like i'm talking to you as a person or as multiple people so yeah i'm super excited to start this relaxation spa routine with you guys let's start shall we <laughs> come to my bathroom or my parents bathroom okay so for cleaning my face i usually don't really use a fancy product I just use anything for sensitive skin and I have really sensitive skin and I'm very acne prone. I don't know if these sleeves are going to be really, really, really annoying, but we'll work with it. It looks cute. Looks like this. It's not very interesting. I don't know about you guys, but this is a step that I usually really don't enjoy that much. So I always put like my facial wash in the shower. So once I'm wet, I can just use it then. So the next step thing is I don't have a face exfoliator or a face scrub. So this one is one from Rituals and it's actually for your body. So if you have a skin exfoliator, that's way better. Usually when you use like a body scrub, it is less meant for like sensitive skin because it's your body and your body is generally less sensitive than, your, than the skin on your face, of course. But I'm gonna gently use it now because it's still like a natural product. This one is very nice. And the reason why I really wanted to use an exfoliator is because it opens up your pores and because I'm gonna steam now, it, it will open up my pores even more and really take all the toxins out. So I'm taking it with me downstairs. I'm just gonna boil some water. I'm using chamomile tea and jasmine tea. Just some rose water, then some vitamin C. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang above this boil of steam under a towel for a couple of minutes. Well, I have steamed and I'm super red. <laughs> Especially when I enter a jacuzzi, I'm so red. <laughs> so I do want to say that sometimes it gets just like super, super warm. So if it's too warm for you, just get away from under your towel and just relax for a bit and then maybe go back in. Or if you find that you don't like it or that it's too hot, just quit. It's fine. So my first mask is going to be the Oregon's one. And this is the active charcoal mask to clean your pores and then after that we're just going to do the barbara strum face mask this is the charcoal mask so it's thick this is kind of like a random thought but if you've modeled before that moment when you're sitting in the makeup seat and they don't start right away with the makeup but she's first giving you like a little skincare routine and like massaging your face 
Honestly, I think that might have been the greatest part of the job. And it's such a small thing, but it makes you so much more relaxed about the day. I don't know, like I can get pretty nervous about shooting for brands. And especially if the photographer has done really amazing things or worked with great people and like has a really, you know, amazing portfolio or the print is big or it was one of my first jobs. I don't know, it gets, it's still a little scary. I'm a mess. So that's the mask. <laughs> and it's cracking. So smooth. <laughs> so now we're gonna go in with the second face mask. And this is just way lighter and softer. And also normally I never use two, but if you're doing a spade, you know, might as well double treat yourself. So I will see you again in 20 minutes. So I thought we could have a little chat. One of the things that I'm a little nervous about, uh, I know there's way worse things in the world, but I'm interning this summer for the first time, for the first time, like full three months. And I'm a little nervous because I'm afraid that it's gonna have to be online. And it's just like, that's definitely not the worst thing there is. But yeah, I was just kind of excited for the whole like office routine. Like in the morning, I'll go to Amsterdam go to the office, work the entire day, and then go home, meet people, make friends, be a part of meetings, and all that stuff that I've never really experienced, at least not for like full three months. I could also do a little video about internships, but to be honest, I don't have that much experience yet. I've applied to a bunch. Um, I either usually apply through LinkedIn, I apply directly to like a certain internship offer or like a web page, a career web page, and you can like submit an application for a certain position there. Or sometimes what I also do is I stalk um, people or like the HR of a certain company uh, on LinkedIn or certain people that work in like the department I wanna work for. So let's say you have this company, they have a marketing department, I look either at, at somebody that's in the team or yeah, or just any HR person, find their links and connect with them. Then you usually can see an email and you can reach out to them and you can reach out to them through that email or you can send them a direct message on LinkedIn once you're connected with them. So for getting internships, I would feel like think outside of the box, don't just apply on the website, the career side website or a LinkedIn post. Also just try to get in some emails by stalking <laughs> the people of the company basically. Because sometimes they get so many applications that there is a really big chance that they're never even gonna see your application. So if they receive, like people always read their personal email. So what you can do is you can email them. You email the person, you introduce yourself and you're just ask if there's any positions available or something you can talk to and you can even include your resume for reference. I got this internship through the career page, however, and then I did two interviews. So I did one interview with the HR, head of HR, and then I did one interview with the people that would be, I would be on the team with. And honestly, like I get super nervous for those interviews and it's super scary. But in the end, those people usually just wanna know you. Like they wanna be able to just talk to you, know how you make conversation, especially in like marketing. Finance might be a different story. I think they just wanna see how you view yourself and how you would uh, benefit them in as a part of their team. It's gonna go super fast. It's only 15 minutes of your life. There's so many things happening in the world that are way more scary than those 15 minutes of you talking to a person about a position that you really, really want. And usually when you really want something, you will know what to say. Like in the moment, like I was preparing a lot, I was writing down a lot of the things that I wanted to say. And in the end, I said them differently, but I said them anyways, because I knew that they're, you know, they're so stuck in your head. You really want this position, you know yourself. And I don't know, when you really want something, I feel like you know how to sell yourself. 
um that's what i really learned also about the fashion industry is like there's so many people that are actually not confident and they maybe not even know they might not even know what they're doing and still you have full trust in them and you believe that they know everything perfectly just by the way that they present themselves so yeah anyways if you have any questions regarding internships it's not like i know everything but you can always ask me on in the comments below or on instagram um i would find it super fun to answer those questions because career is just like a super exciting topic it's scary but exciting i have no idea what i want to do in the future well i have some idea like the big dreams you know like have my own e-commerce company sell my own fashion line but like bigger and like you know like i don't know being stores be super huge online platform uh everybody knowing your brand everybody buying your brand i don't know it's just such a rewarding feeling already when somebody buys a piece of your collection like when somebody buys something of anna by bella it's not like yay money somebody bought something it's like oh, yes oh somebody loves this item this item that i put put so much work in this item that that i don't know rep represents my style and this person bought it because they like it that's just super cool love chatting with you <laughs> skin is super soft again so what we're gonna do now is just my normal skincare routine and i'm actually first gonna start with a lash booster serum i'm just gonna apply it on top of my lashes i have actually been using this for a week and i do notice difference a difference like they actually feel uh, a little longer when i apply mascara they actually feel a little bit longer than normal now I'm gonna mix two serums. I'm gonna mix the Irene um, Clearer Day Serum with their antioxidant serum. I'm gonna put one more serum. That's just the Vitamin C Skin Booster. I'm gonna use just my normal. It's a very basic drugstore uh, hydrating cream. Also, what I forgot to say is that the reason also why I steam before applying a face mask is because by steaming, you really open your pores and that way your skin really absorbs all the good products that are actually in face masks. So the face is ready. It feels really nice and tight and moisturized. So for now, what we're gonna do is use the tanning products. It's actually, I think there, it's actually quite nice products in here. There's a side berry coffee extract. So I'm gonna also have these for applying. But I think I'm gonna just start with the face tan. It's gonna be able to apply it with my fingers. Uh, I have to let it set for two hours and I have to wash my hands straight after. It's super new. As you can see, I've never used it before. Oh, oh it's really dark. <laughs> This might end up really, really funny or really pretty. But two hours is a very long time. Oh, this smells amazing. Okay, wait, I need to do this <laughs> well. This was gifted to me, but this was gifted to me like, I think two years ago. I did my face and I'm gonna wash my hands just to show you, show you that specific product again it's the Deluxe face tan and they gave me the color dark which is actually for medium to dark skin tones and <laughs> I'm very fair but that might also have been on purpose because it will have more effect now we're gonna use this one this one. So I'm applying moisturizer to my hands and wrists and then to my feet and ankles because that's where the tan usually stays more. <gasps> Whoa! It's so dark. Let's start with the legs. Look, that's what it looks like. And this 
is the color difference. I'll be back with you when I'm doing my arms. <laughs> so I've done my body and as you can see, it's a lot <laughs> darker, but it's gonna, this I'm rinsing off in like two hours and this I think is gonna set in and then I'm gonna shower it off tonight. It looks pretty damn tan for me. I don't know how long that will last. Uh oh, wait, I think, I'm gonna, I think I might have to do this part. So yeah, I don't know how long this is gonna last and what the end result is completely. So I'll show you in a bit and I'll let you know in like a week about how long the 10 stays. I have a feeling there's a couple of days. So it's now the next morning and I have to say, <laughs> I'm super, super 10. I did not expect that. Also, please don't mind <laughs> my boyfriend boxers. So maybe you can see better in this light. I'm gonna shower it off now and see if it stays. But I kind of want to wash it off a little bit too because it's maybe too tan. <laughs> like too obvious. Definished, airbrushed, tan look. So far I just showered and I was a little bit scared that everything would come off. But that's not what happened. I wish a little bit more came off. Also, I just quickly checked on their website. So for tanning my skin, I used the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in the color dark, and it's $35 USD. So hot, so talking about how tan I am. Okay, um, I'm gonna say Have bye to you guys. Now. Yeah. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please put a thumbs up or subscribe or both. And I'll see you guys next week on Tuesday or Wednesday with another video. I love you. Bye guys. Now I can even wear yellow. Trust me, normally I cannot pull this off at all, this color. But your girl is pulling off yellow.